Welcome to Education on Demand, where learning is limitless. Today's lesson is on SHSAT Logical Reasoning Condition Statements. A typical question found on the SHSAT will read Every student in the eighth grade plays either soccer or tennis. Some play both. Ali, who's in the eighth grade, does not play tennis. John is in the eighth grade. And Mary is in the seventh grade. Based on the information above, which of the following statements must be true? The first step to solving this question is to identify our list of conditions. We are told that every student in the eighth grade plays either soccer or tennis, and some play both. When we review our first Roman numeral, it states that John plays both tennis and soccer. Since John is in the eighth grade, he must play either soccer or tennis, but he does not have to play both. Hence, we can eliminate Roman numeral one since it is not absolutely true. When we review the second Roman numeral, it states that Mary plays soccer or tennis. Mary's in the seventh grade, and we are told nothing about seventh graders, so we do not know that Mary plays soccer or tennis. Hence, we can eliminate Roman numeral two as well. When we review the third Roman numeral, it states that Ali plays soccer. As written in the prompt, every student in the eighth grade plays either soccer or tennis. And if Ali does not play tennis, he must play soccer. Hence, Roman numeral three is the only statement that must be true. Therefore, the answer is B. I hope this lesson helped you better prepare for your test. Subscribe to the Ivy Key channel and view new videos every day. If you have a test question, leave a comment below. And you can sign up for group classes and private lessons by visiting the ivykey.com.